The Big 7 race isn't just about taking home first place. It serves as a family tradition for running or watching. But this course can have its hazards. Local force Sean Logging rides along with Medic EMS as they respond to Bix. Nearly 10,000 people are getting in a workout as Bix 7 and the Quick Bix pours onto Brady Street Hill. It's a brutal race, but you've got old people and young people, fit people, maybe not so fit people, and we're all in it together, so we're supporting each other. Yeah, you got this. Let's go. For spectators, it's a morning to be cheerleaders and party, and some have been at it for decades. My running days are over with. I said we'd rather participate and just, uh, we, we, this is our corner at 7th and Brady. People yell out at us, and we, we yell back at them. It's an early start to the weekend, but for one group watching this race, they're going all in. Thanks a lot, everybody. Really Adding in RAGBRAI, Medic EMS has nearly 30 crews in ambulances and on bikes ready to respond. It's the biggest event that we do all year, uh, so we definitely have all, all uh, hands on deck. To pull it all off, it means getting some help with rigs and personnel from Genesis, Durant, Dubuque, and West Des Moines, Iowa, and Peoria, Illinois. And this race is a day that can keep them busy. Temperature has uh, a direct correlation to how many we have. Uh, it may jump up to 30, 40 patients uh, in a matter of an hour. While the weather provided some refreshment, for paramedics the concern becomes racers stressing out their bodies. With the nice cool weather as people try to get their best uh, best run in uh, of the year, so they, they really work themselves pretty hard. And when not responding, they have some of the best views of the road. Nice just to be out here and, and be able to watch the uh, the elite runners that they come through and then also the, the runners, that the everyday you know people that are out there. Because there's plenty to see. <laughs> Sean Logging, Local 4 News. Sean, thank you. And Pestman tells Local 4 News they had six BICS-related calls and transported three runners to Genesis. Genesis also operated a medical tent for the race, saying they helped nearly 25 people and transported one person to the hospital.